All right, this just isn't just for Cairo, but this is for, you know, anybody that's in a group or entourage where there's a rapper and you can see he's getting ready to take off. Look, if there's 30 of y'all, 40 of y'all, there's a good chance that rapper's probably only going to bring about five or six with you guys. So what you have to do, if you want to be one of those five, or one of those six, you got to make yourself useful. Like, you just can't be a hanger on. Like... You can't expect Herb to take care of, you know, 15, 20 grown men. Like, that's just not going to happen. So, if you're around a rapper, either you need to learn how to make beats. You need to learn what else you got. Oh, yeah, I guess then you can be a manager, too. But more than likely, he's probably going to go with a more established talent as a manager because a manager is really all about connections. So, you're not really going to go with your homeboy as a manager. You probably want somebody else. So, for Cairo, like, you have options, bro. Like. If you're in the studio with Herb and there's an engineer right there, you know, get right next to the engineer. Watch what he's doing. See how he's mixing. See how he's mastering. Like, oh, word. Oh, you just got to do that. Oh, click and drag there. Oh, that's how you mix these vocals. Oh, oh, word. All right, cool, 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 cool. Get a pen and paper and start taking little notes. Start jotting stuff down. Herb's going to see that and he's going to be like, oh, all right. I'm, I'm going to need him. I'm going to need him. So now when you get on the road... Yo, you guys can be shooting videos, you guys can be recording, you guys can be mixing. That's how you build a team. That's how you build a group. He's just not going to hear. Yo, Herb got plenty of people that he can just have around him that are just going to agree with everything. And just, you know, yes, sir. No, sir. Just yes, man. No, he don't need that. Like, he got a girl. He got kids. He got baby moms that he got to take care of, too. Like, you think he got time to be just sending so much money back home? Like, he can probably do what he can. But after a while, it's like, yo... I haven't been around you guys for, what, four or five years? And his career is going up and up and up. So it's like, why do I need all you guys? But now, if you want to take it to the street shit, what you did, all right, cool, then. You know what? I, I can't really say nothing about that. If you put in work for him, then all right, then Herb, you know, you got to look out. You got to do what you got to do because those guys are the reason that you to rap the stuff that you can rap. It's because, you know, they're providing their image because, you know, somebody got to put in the work. These ain't ducktails that's going on in Chicago. But for anybody that's coming up in a group and, you know, there's a rapper, yo, you got to make yourself an essential. You got to be useful. You got to pick a job. And whatever it is, you just keep working at it, working at it, working at it, working at it. And then all of a sudden, now you got you got yourself a team. Like, I guarantee you, Cairo, if you if he would have made beats or he would have learned how to mix, yo, he would still be around her to this day. Because Herb would be like, all right, I got the in-house engineer. We don't got to... You know, keep going to studios. We can just record in the hotel room. We don't got to pick up the phone, call. Oh, where's this cameraman? Oh, yo, where Jerry at? Or oh, where Cole Bennett at? Like, nah, you got your own guy. By now, you would have you had yourself a camera. You would have had yourself a drone. You can get drone shots and drone footage. Yo, you probably, you would have learned how to color grade. Bro, you could have taken Herb's videos to another level. And then with Herb having an in-house, you know, cameraman, an in-house producers, in-house engineer, he's probably going to be recording so much more, shooting way more videos. Like, you could have took Herb's career somewhere else, but to see all you guys, you know, like that, man, just in that room. It just didn't look right, man. It didn't look right, man. Dan, you said in the video, like, you got a name, you got a buzz. You said in the video, oh, I don't want to rap. Then wait, so what you want to do? You just want to be a shooter your whole life? Like what? You're going to you gonna find yourself back in jail. Don't think you're just going to be a shooter and just keep catching bodies left and right, left and right, and you ain't going to get like caught up one of these times. Like It don't work like that. Eventually, yeah, you may get away with it you know, one time, two times, three times, eventually, but it catches up with everybody. So I'm confused. When you say, oh, I don't want to rap, like, so what, what, what do you want to do? Like... What's the plan? Like, I don't know, bro. You got a name. You got the spotlight. You got fans probably telling you, yo, man, rap, 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 rap. Get in the studio. Drop something. Even if you're not nice at first, yo, you already got a fan base around you that's waiting for you to drop something. Yo, they gonna rock with you. They gonna, they gonna, yo. One thing fans love to do, they love to see the growth. They love to be able to see where you started from and see like, oh, damn. This where he is now? I don't know, Cairo, man. 
I feel like if there was somebody else in your position, in your situation, man, they would take full advantage of that. They would wait for their career to take off. What? You haven't even dropped a record. You ain't even got no music out, and you got fans telling that they want to hear you rap. Like, what? You got people dying for a fan base, doing anything and everything to try and get on. You already got the name. You already got the clout. You already got the image. I'm telling you, bro, if you would have been rapping, Herb would have been signed you. Then you're talking about chains. Herb probably did say that, but then he probably, you know, realized later on, wait, why I got to get all these dudes chains? Like, wait, what are they doing? Huh? I was tweaking, man. I can get this to my baby mom. I can get this to my girl. But yeah, man, that's my take on this conversation, man. Like if you want to, comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to. If not, life goes on.